All right, so this video series is going to be on root canals for the dental staff, specifically for the assistants, so they know what we're doing during a root canal and kind of get familiar with the different pieces and equipment and parts and all the different things that go into a root canal. So this first video is going to be on the endo file system, a root canal file system. There's going to be three main numbers that we're going to be talking about when we talk about endodontic um, files and what we're looking for. So the three big numbers to be aware of is length, tip size, and taper. So let's go through that. Length is pretty easy. It's going to be from the very tip of the file all the way to the hub or where the handle of the file begins. There's this little thing right here called the rubber stopper that kind of slides along here. Uh, we use that to kind of set a length, but if we're looking for the length of the file, especially when we're talking about trying to get one that we need for a procedure, this is what we are referring to is the length of the actual file itself from tip to um, the end of the shaft where the beginning of the handle begins. And they come in basically three different sizes, 21, 25, and 31, okay? Next thing is tip size. So if you look here, the tip as we go through these gets progressively bigger and bigger, okay? So this is a measurement of, you see it's 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and so forth. They also have color coding that goes with each one of these different sizes. Okay. Next thing we're going to talk about is the taper. Okay, this is the third thing that we talked about length, tip size, and taper. Now we're talking about taper. Taper is basically uh, looking at the tip, looking at the very end of the file, and seeing how uh, fat did it get from the tip to here. So in this example, you can see these two files are the same length, Okay, uh, it looks like the tip size is different, but you can tell how fast it gets fat, the taper. This is a bigger taper than that taper. And taper sizes that we work with are either going to be 02, 04, or 06, with it predominantly going to be the 04 taper file system. So uh, if we don't specify uh, that we want a, a taper to be 04, just know that 04 is going to be what we mean. Another way to know what this different 02, 04, and 06 is, if you want to pause the video and read this slide, be my guess. But basically, it just talks about if you slide up the file, uh, how much uh, wider is that diameter getting? So that's the reasoning or the mathematics that goes behind it. All right, let's move on, though, to uh, this. So now we're going to look a little bit more at this file. Again, we talked about the length. We talked about the tip size um, and the taper. But here it is kind of spelled out with our endo system or file system we use. They have a color coding for the taper. Remember, there's three different types of taper. Uh, the O4 taper is always going to be red. Um, since we don't really work with anything else, that's just... Don't worry about it. Just know that every file we look at, this little one right here, that little marking is going to be red. That means the 04 taper. This, however, is what you really want to concentrate on. That is the actual tip size. And like I said, tip sizes are color coded, so it matches up with each one. Uh, also on these files, as you go from the tip to here, these are different markings. These are different length markings. And then there's a little rubber stopper that kind of slides up and down uh, this thing here. This kind of helps us determine the length that we want when we're actually working inside of a uh, inside of a tooth. Now let's go down here and take a look. If you'll notice, this is the different coloring system. Uh, it starts off at a 15, and then it goes to a 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Then the numbers start over at 45 and goes all the way up to 80. It's 45, 50, 55, and then it jumps you know, to 60, and then it jumps all the way up to 70 to 80. If you'll notice, though, we're going to have white could either be a 15 or could be a 45. Yellow could be either these two numbers and so on. So how do you know which one it is? If you just held up a file and looked at it, how would you know which one it is? The only way to know is just with experience of handling files. A very small little slender tipped file is going to be one of these top row of numbers. If it's a fatter file, again, it just comes with um, with working with them over time. I wish they'd have some sort of marking on here that would indicate what kind it is, uh, but they don't. So it's just one of those things where a lot of times a doctor, if you hand them, if you hand a doctor a red one, they'll be able to tell by looking at it if it's a 25 or if it was a 55. Um, but how we have them organized in our system, which we'll go into here in a moment, you should be able to find it pretty quickly. 
All right, let's move on to this. Look at these two files. These two files have the same taper and length. See, taper, this red line, that red line. That means they're the same taper. The length, you can just kind of tell that from tip to here, those are the same length. But here's where they're different. This red band and this yellow band. This seems to indicate the tip size. So these two files have different tip sizes. And again, here's that tip size chart again. We have this on the endo cart. We also have it other places within the endo cart, so you can easily reference this when we're doing cases. Okay, so now, since we kind of have some idea about these different um, numbers, let's move on to two basic types of files. We have either the rotary file, which is what you've been seeing so far. Those actually fit into an endo handpiece. Or we have what's called a hand file, or sometimes they're called K files. And this is, doesn't fit into anything. We actually just hold this in our fingers and we can actually more delicately go down inside of each canal. If you'll also take a look at the uh, taper of these, these are gonna be 04, but these are so skinny, those are actually 02. They don't get much, they don't get too fat here compared to the tip, compared to these guys are kind of fat right here compared to the tip. So these are both, like this is a number 15, that's a number 15, that's a 20, and that's a 20. That means that the tip size is the same. This tip size is the same as that one, okay? But as you can see, the taper of a hand file is different than the taper of a rotary file. Now, in our office, we have taken um, uh, these files and tried to organize them in these metallic boxes. So the bigger boxes are going to be rotary files, and then the smaller boxes are gonna be hand files. So, and we also have them color coded by uh, the actual length. So the 21 millimeter is this one, uh, the red is going to be 25, and the 31 is that. Remember we talked about length, taper, and tip size. Okay, so right here you can narrow it down if we say the doctor says they want a 25 millimeter blah, blah, blah. At least you can know if you get to these red ones, you'll know kind of where you have. They say, yeah, I need a 25 rotary file. You know to go to this box right here, open it up to find what it is that you're looking for. If, for example, if we took the lid off of that blue one, so this one right here, take the lid off of this. This is what we're going to see inside. A bunch of these files all sticking inside these holes. And we try to arrange them from the skinny or the small tip all the way up to the larger tips over here. So again, that marking, you can see there's that red that seems to indicate that that is a taper of an 04. And here's the actual tip size, and this one's 15. Um, over here, you're going to see this. Here's another white one. But if you were to pull this file out, you would see that it's much fatter than this one is. And then you can just kind of see the different organization of that. We try to line up multiple sizes of the same all in the same row. Um, yeah, so if we're going to now go restock this, we have to go to the actual source. When we purchase files, they come in these individual packages and we put these packages inside these tubs. Again, marked 25 millimeters here, 21 millimeters there. If we were to take the lid off and take out one of these packages, this is what the package was, would look like. Uh, on the front, you'd see these different markings. On the very top, you'd see this. And then if you flip it around, this is what they actually look like. So again, if we were to look at the things that are most important to us, this is a number 55 rotary file and is a 25 millimeter length. And also the taper of this is an 04. Okay, so the markings are here on the front. It's also on the top. And we take the extra step of actually taking, in this case, since red is the 20, I'm sorry, is the 55 size. We mark the tops of these for easy, quick reference. Because if you open up a tub like this and there's all these files, we want to be able to quickly locate what we're trying to find. Okay, um, let's take a look, that, look at this one, a little quick test. On this pack, what size file is this? Is this a 20 or is this a 25? Because you see the number 20, you see 25. Well, because this has millimeter after it, that is the length. So 25 millimeter length, again, 04 taper. This is a number 20 file. Okay. All right, let's move on to hand files. Hand files are much more simple. Uh, they just come in one color. They even have the size on it. And then the measurement again is from tip to the handle. Okay. Um, I will note, or you will note, you say, well, look, there's a purple. Purple isn't in this set. 
I know, because it doesn't really kind of start over at a purple. Uh, the repeating series starts from white, yellow, goes to red, blue, green, black, and then as you can see, 40 goes to 45. Again, we're starting over at white. So that's what this whole series of sequence of colors are. If we go to something smaller than a 15, which is a 10, then that's going to be purple. They also make an 08. They also make an 06, a very, very skinny little file, and those come in different colors as well. And so this is how this would be arranged. And if you were to spot this, you'd see this doesn't look like it's organized quite right. Uh, these 10s should be over here, and these 15s should be in column number two. And this I don't know what this isn't really arranged perfectly, but this number 20 needs to be put over here. So you can see that trying to keep this organized is, is kind of tough to do, but we have to make sure we do our best to keep it together so we can quickly find what we need. Again, if we were to uh, go over to one of these green tabs, you'll see that this is called a K type file. We could also call it a hand file. That's what we've been calling it so far. And in this particular tab, you're going to see the 21 and 25 millimeter hand files. If we were to take those out or open up a lid, take out one of those packages, you'd see this size 20, length 21. It really doesn't state the taper on this because they're just hand files. They're all 0.02. Uh, but <clears throat> this is what we just need to know when we're trying to find a hand file. <clears throat> and the reason for all of this different sizing is because all teeth are a little bit different. The shape of the canal, the length of the canal, if it's a fat canal, if it's a skinny canal, the actual end of the canal where you have an opening at the very root tip, those all come in different sizes. And so what we're trying to do as dentists when we're in there cleaning out these files is to clean out all of this stuff on the inside, get all that soft debris out, clean these side walls really well, and just make sure that when we go fill this tooth in with gutta percha, it will be a nice tight seal all the way down here to the root tip, and we don't go too far out, we don't stop too short of that area, and then we get the right width to get this all cleaned out. So that's what we're trying to do when we're going through all of these different tapers and sizes and lengths and so forth. We're trying to make sure we accurately clean out the inside of the canal. So that is uh, root canal filing, uh, all the different files and what the numbers mean. All right, thanks.